Hey y'all and welcome to episode 92 of the Crazy Sock Lady podcast. My name is Kay and this is my YouTube channel where I chat about all of my knitting and crocheting adventures. Today is March 18th. It is a Wednesday. I hope that you are all doing well and thank you so much for joining me here today. It is a rainy day here in Surprise, Arizona. Loving it, enjoying the rain. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as The Crazy Sock Lady, and we do have a group for this podcast on Ravelry. If you're over on Ravelry and up at the top, you hit the groups tab, search Crazy Sock Lady Podcast, it's gonna pull it up there. There's always some knit alongs, sometimes there's giveaways, swapless swaps. So make sure to join us over there if you have not already. And there will be links right down below this episode to everywhere that you can find me, as well as the show notes, project pages, links to shops, all of that's gonna be down there for you guys. Today on this episode, we have a new design to chat about, some works in progress, a couple of skeins of yarn that I received in the mail, and I think that's about it. Oh, I do have a coupon code to share with you guys as well um, for the new design and then another coupon code. So lots of fun stuff today. We will keep it business as usual for this episode. I know there's some craziness going on in the world and I will, talk more about that later in chatter, but I'm not going to go into too much because I feel like I personally, and I'm sure a lot of you can relate, you're hearing so much from so many different people and you just want to get away from it. So this is where you can. We're not going to go into it too much. We're just going to jump in with all of the yarn and the knitting. So first up, Ravelry Group, we do have the Stash Busters Cal going on, and this is a year-long knit along that I am co-hosting with Julie of Twin Stitches Designs Podcast. Basically the idea with the knit along is just use your stash. There are full rules over in the chatter thread in my Ravelry group and then Julie has threads in her group as well. If you want to enter into the knit along, please make sure that you are a member of my group if you're entering in mine. Julie's if you're doing hers, you can enter in both groups. Just make sure you're a member of the group and that it doesn't say guest in this group. You do need to be a member to be eligible for the prizes. I do have a video up here on YouTube that talks more about the knit along and I will link that down below for you guys. There's also a swapless swap going on right now and that one is with spectacular yarns. If you're new to the swapless swaps, you get 10 40 yard minis and there's a different yarn dyer for each one. And the prices vary from 35 to $45, shipping's included, so it just depends on where it's shipping to. I will be sure to link that down below and it has all of the information in those threads. So the coupon code that I wanna share with you guys is a new code that's good all the way until March 30th and it will get you 30% off any of my patterns on Etsy or Ravelry. All you have to do is use the code SAVE30 in either shop and you get that 30% off. So talking about patterns, there is a new design that is out. This is the Desert Diamonds Cowl. This is a DK weight collar work cowl. I'll go ahead and try it on for you guys. And for this cowl, I used It's All About You yarn in her delightful DK base. On the Haunted House was the gray. I was blanking on the names. Haunted House was the colorway for gray. And then the pinkish colorway is Carousel. So very fun. Color work cowl. There are a few coupon codes to use for this one as well. If you use the code, let me find it on here because I know I wrote it down. DD, oh my goodness, my hair is a little crazy. It's raining and humid, so my hair is like extra crazy today. Okay, the coupon code for the cowl is DD Cowl 15, and that'll get you 15% off either shop. But I will say the 30% off coupon code is good for all patterns. So you can always use that and get 30% off the new pattern. Just thought we're all inside staying home as much as we can. It would be fun to do 30% off coupon code if you've been itching to try a pattern. All right, so works in progress. I don't have any finished objects today. I have a couple half finished objects. So let's start with those. This one is the socks that I'm knitting for my dad for his birthday. I got one done. 
And this is in Cascade Heritage Prints and the color is number 57. I did figure that out on Ravelry. <laughs> so I wasn't sure before what the color way was, but it's number 57. One is done and I am doing these, I think I talked about last week as part of Julie of Twin Stitches Designs Sock Challenge to knit one pair of adult socks in a week. So that started this past Sunday, I believe. Started the 15th, today's the 18th. I finished this last night and I cast on the second sock this morning. That's all I've got done. <laughs> So it started, it's progress. I did, or I'm doing 64 stitches on a US 1 2.25 millimeter needles, magic loop, and I'm using my Haya Haya Sharp needles for these. I haven't used these needles in a while because I normally tear my finger up. I push off my needle, but so far it's been okay. Here's the yarn that I'm using, the tag. So I, the plan is to hopefully, if I can stay on track with the challenge, to have that done. Um, has to be done Saturday by 12 p.m. your time, wherever you are. So hopefully I will have that done Saturday. The next half finished object is this sock. I don't think this was done last week. I could be totally wrong, but I don't think it was. So here is the What Color Is Your Sheep? colorway by Fiber Nymph Dye Works. I did a slip stitch heel flap for both of these. I did that for my dad's as well. US 1, 2.25 millimeter needles, 64 stitches. Now, if you're wanting instructions for the heel flap and the toe, you can find those in any of my patterns on Ravelry or Etsy. I do have some free ones on Ravelry. And the second sock is started. Oh, I didn't even say. I put the socks for my dad in this fun birthday themed bag. This was a gift from my friend Karen. She doesn't sell these, but... Um, she gave this to me to use for around my birthday. I think it was a couple of years ago. I thought it would be fun since the socks I'm knitting for my dad are for his birthday to use this bag. So that is what those are in. And this is in my socks bag from Laughing Stitches by NL. And the second one, oh dear. Almost lost some stitches. Here's the second one so far. I really love this yarn. I love these colors. They're so pretty and fun together. So I'm enjoying this a lot. This hasn't gotten a ton of work here the past couple of days because it was kind of my car knitting, basketball knitting, like when Eric was driving or if I had to wait in the car for something or we were at basketball or football, but all of that has been canceled. So my purse knitting has not gotten a ton of work because I haven't left the house since Sunday. I don't think I worked on it on Sunday in the car. I think I worked on my dad's socks. So hasn't gotten a ton of work, but it'll eventually get finished. A couple more works in progress, just two more. I don't know if this has had a ton of work since the last time you saw it, but I will go ahead and show it. This is in my Daisy Girl and Company bag. And it is my March Desert Vista Dye Work socks. Eric's texting me from Lowe's. He's bored. And he went to get paint to paint our downstairs bathroom. <laughs> he's working from home, but he's bored. All right, so I am doing these two at a time. And they're on a 40 inch Chow Gu cable. And I'm doing the mahogany run socks pattern. I really love how it is knitting up in self striping. I never would have thought, oh, pull that to the back. I never would have thought that this pattern would really work in self striping, but I'm very pleased with it. 
So this is the Charlotte's Web colorway by Desert Vista Dye Works. And these have just been getting a tiny bit of work here and there in the mornings. When I first come downstairs, I'm kind of still waking up and sometimes I'll get a little work done, checking messages and things like that, the Ravelry group. So I've been working on them here and there. And the Mahogany Run Socks pattern is one of my patterns that you can find on Etsy or Ravelry. And you could use a 30% off coupon code if you wanted to try that pattern out. Last thing I have in a bag from By the Lakeside from Sandy. And this you guys have not seen before. You saw the yarn last week because I picked it up at the Plucky Knitter trunk show. Show you a picture here on the pattern. So I am test knitting a sweater for Julie of Twin Stitches Designs, and it is so cute. I love the simplicity of the color work, but I feel like it makes such a statement. It looks, you know, simple and not too crazy, but it it definitely makes a statement, and it has some texture in it, which I think is super fun. So this is the pattern. She's looking for a name. So if you have any ideas for a name, head over and help Julie out. Split back to where I was in the pattern and get that in there. So I started this, we got the pattern on Friday and I swatched Saturday, I believe. And then I think it was the day before yesterday that I cast on. And I did most of this work yesterday. I'm excited to sit down and work on it a little bit today. So I'm not too far into it. Let's flip it around that way. Can't really even see too much of the color work yet, but I love how these two colors are looking together. I love it. And then the other color, cause there are three that I'm going to use is that. I'm so excited. So this dark color here is overcoat. The pink here is going steady. I can't remember what the other one is. Let me check. Dress call. And this is Plucky Knitter on their Primo Fingering Base. which is a 7525 Superwash Merino Cashmere Nylon Blend. This is my first time. I've never used cashmere in a sweater. It feels very nice. So I'm excited to sit down and work on this today. Hopefully, I'm hoping to get through at the very least this first little bit of color work today, hopefully. I'm using my Likey Interchangeable. I haven't used these in a while, so I thought it would be fun to pull them out and give them a little love because I do love those needles. They're probably only the only wooden needles I have. No, that's incorrect. I have, I still have um, some Knit Picks wooden needles over there, which I do love as well. I just don't use them quite as often. All right, is that it for works in progress? Yes, it is. So I do have a couple of skeins of yarn that I received in the mail. And these are from Wild Star Fibers. She sent two, so this one is Peach Berry, and it is on her Stellar Sock Fingering Weight, which is 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon, 463 yards, 100 grams. It's very pretty. And then this one is Villainous, and it is on the same base. And she said to use one for the cow and then to keep one for myself. So I'm going to put this one in quarter two for the Stash Busters cow. I think it'll be super fun. And then this one, I think I'll do a design with. So that'll be sometime in the future. So thank you so much for sending those over. I love it. I love the, her logo too. Look how cute that is. So that is all that I received in the mail since the last time. 
So we do still have the 10,000 subscriber giveaway going on. If you want to head over to episode 91, you can find out how to enter over there and that will remain open until March 25th. And then I will draw a winner for the episode that I record that day. That's the plan. So that wraps up all of the knitting content for today. I feel like I kind of rushed through it, but I'm on a bit of a time crunch since Eric's out of the house. Um, I thought I would go ahead and record while he's out and about. And then that's just one less person in the house. The kids are upstairs playing. So now we'll move into a little bit of chatter. So if you are done and heading out, thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Chatter, goodness, don't even know where to begin. Um, of course, everybody is aware of what is going on in the world right now. With the the outbreak, the schools are closed. They are closed until April 6th at this point. But I did see an article this morning. Um, I can't remember who they had interviewed for it with the school board, but saying that it may remain closed to the end of the year and that they were looking into ways to do like schooling online or send out packets to the kids. The boys were scheduled to be on spring break this week anyways. So for us, this... I don't think it's really hit yet because we were already planning on them being home this week. It wasn't, you know, like boom, they were just home. This week was a planned, planned vacation from school with spring break. Um, but we'll have two more weeks after this and then maybe even longer. Who knows? Eric's working from home. It's not mandatory. They haven't said don't come in, but they, they do want to limit who's coming into the office. So just right now he's choosing to work home. Thankfully, he has that option with his job. I know a lot of people don't. Um, so I don't know. I've just been trying to keep things as normal and routine as I can. Obviously, things are different. But for my daily routine, I'm trying to keep it the same. I'm trying to get up at the same time. I'm trying to have breakfast at the same time, do the household chores at the same time. I thrive off of structure and schedules and as soon as my schedules get off and that structure isn't there I I don't know I just kind of don't do well with that so right now I'm just trying to keep my daily routine the same you know obviously Eric's home the kids are home things are just so different all around in the world right now um it's definitely not life as normal, but I'm trying to keep my day to day the same as much as I can. I don't know if that makes sense or if anyone can relate to that, but I am finding it very important right now for feeling anxious or anything like that to just try to keep things structured. I find that it helps. Today was bathroom cleaning day and I do not enjoy that day, but I tell you what, it, it felt so good to get that done to just kind of have my mind on something else and get that done and feel like I had some structure there. Like, okay, this is my normal Wednesday stuff. I always clean the bathroom on Wednesdays. I'm getting the bathrooms cleaned. So that felt nice. Um, but yeah, everything, the sports are closed, which you guys know, if you've watched for a while, sports are a huge part of our life. The boys sporting events and practice and things are suspended for now. So yeah. Just the same boat as pretty much everyone else, which is, I hate it for, you know, the entire world, but we are all in this together. So I guess I do take some comfort in that. Like we are all in this same boat right now. None of us know what is going to happen. Like we are all right there together. So I find that comforting. I'm hoping to keep it business as usual here on YouTube, pending that, you know, God willing, none of us in this household get sick. Um, It'll just be business as usual as far as hopefully weekly episodes and I don't know, maybe some extra little content. We'll see. There should be a Scrappy Sunday video going up this Sunday. So look forward to that if you enjoy watching those. So I think that'll pretty much wrap it up for today with episode 92. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this brought a little sunshine and joy to your day. I hope that you are all healthy. You are all doing well and I will see you guys again soon. Until then, happy knitting. Bye.